Professor Ibaka was born about 1485 in southern Spain, and his grandfather had actually been a conquistador. And the grandfather, Pedro de Vera, was the first conquistador granted a capitulacion, which is a, a royal set of permissions to conquer Gran Canary Island, which is right here in the North Atlantic. And the descriptions that we have coming down to us are that Don Pedro was a pretty ruthless guy and a rather austere sort of presence. Well, to be able to do his work in Gran Canary, on Gran Canary Island, the king said, you're going to need three or four ships, uh, you're going to need three or four hundred men, you'll need all the equipment that's necessary to effect a conquest. You will pay for everything yourself, and I want you to give me a fifth of all the revenue that, that you get. Are there any questions? And Pedro said, oh no, no problem, sir. Fine, sign right here. So he did. The problem was Pedro didn't have the money. So this is in about 1470, and Spain still had Moors in southern Spain. There were still Moorish kingdoms in Granada. So what Pedro did was take his two sons, one of whom was Cabeza de Vaca's father, and he pawned them. He pawned them to his Moorish bankers. They were hostages. Uh, for Pedro to get the money for his expedition, he hawked his kids, got the money, went down, <coughs> conquered Grand Canary, and set up some sugar mills, sugar plantations, among other things, and made the money back. And luckily for Cabeza de Vaca, he was able to pay off the bankers. So Cabeza de Vaca's dad actually was uh, depawned, unpawned, he was redeemed, and Cabeza de Vaca was born about 1485. So he grew up on his grandfather's knee, his granddad was one of the original Spanish conquistadors, and when he sailed to the New World, that was uh, that was part of his family history. So here it is about 1535. He's a very popular man and quite a famous man in Mexico City. He writes an account of his eight years, nine years, wandering across North America. That becomes a very popular book for its day. That was in the 1530s. And he goes home to Spain. And he goes to see the, the young Prince, uh, young King Charles, and he says, uh, do you have any more jobs, sir? And Charles says to one of his courtiers, who is this guy? Oh, he's the fellow who walked across North America. <coughs> no, we don't have anything right now. We, sorry, we just, we can't think of anything that, that, that might suit you in particular. And so he, Charles says, Carlos says, hang around the court a little while and uh, maybe something will turn up. Well, very short time later, the Spaniards have a brand new province in Buenos Aires down in South America. It has just been settled, and the, the governor is a gentleman named Mendoza. <coughs> and Governor Mendoza is having a terrible time. The, the local Native American people aren't very fond of, of the settlement, and they're attacking it relentlessly. And Governor Mendoza decides to sail back to Spain to report on the state of his colony. But it is in such dire condition that he leaves the lieutenant governor in charge. The lieutenant governor says, we can't really maintain this colony. He sends a series of small ships, small boats upstream. This is the real Paraná to Asuncion, which is going to be the, the new capital of Paraguay. This is 800 miles upstream. How that's an improvement on this, nobody is quite certain. But here the Spaniards are. Mendoza sails home and dies, unfortunately, of syphilis in the middle of the Atlantic. The king hears this, and he says to one of his courtiers, who was that guy who was in here a couple of months ago? Cabeza de Vaca. Come come in. So Cabeza de Vaca comes in. This is about 1539, and the king says, We've had an opening. <laughs> and uh, I, I have a vacancy. Are you interested in being governor of the Rio de la Plata province? And Cabeza de Vaca says, well, actually, 
could you send me back to Florida? I mean, Narvaez is dead, and I would kind of, the king says, we only have one opening. Here's where it is. Yeah. Would you like it? And uh, Cabeza de Vaca says, sure. The king says, OK, five ships, 500 men, 400 horses, all of their equipment, tons of supplies. All of our Spaniards are perishing. You have to spread the gospel. It's 8,000 ducats, which is a king's ransom. It's all at your expense. I'm not paying for a nickel of this. And if you make any money, I want a fifth. Deal? Cabeza de Vaca says, you bet. 